necessarily been familiar with how to do that. They wouldn't have felt comfortable with it. But these things are crazy, right? I mean, we all sort of, this, this is happening. This is happening to most people. And, you know, I mean, the way that we see it even is, when I go to talk to facility managers now about what we do, uh, they may or may not have adopted a lot of wild new technologies in their facilities yet, but they have a smartphone. They've been taught how to use it. They got all their apps. You know, they're on boards with friends during their breaks and stuff. And they're all, you know, they, these kinds of things are starting to become the inevitable. So when we walk in, it's been actually kind of incredible. I think if we walked into a facility management office five years ago and said, this is what we're doing, we probably would have been shut out or laughed at in some way. But now they're sort of getting to the point where everybody is appreciating, you know, this actually sounds like a lot of stuff that I see in my world, right? It sounds like how I'm starting to watch TV. It sounds like how I'm starting to interact with my own, all of that. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so comfy. So, okay. Well, we'll talk about basically. It's a quick thing. We plug it in. It speaks back net. Um, what we're seeing actually. Well, let's see. Yeah, that's actually a little bit of a better description. So we plug comfy into the back end of uh, of the building management system, and essentially it's a controls device that works back and forth. The platform was developed in an open source project at UC Berkeley that our founders did. Um, so, so I'll just tell you a little bit about how it works while these design implications are up here. So, so as I mentioned, it's basically two functions. You can see these little three buttons, which are deceivingly simple, and that's part of the idea, right? When you push one of these buttons, and I can show you a demo later if you're interested, uh, two things happen. The first is, let's say you say cool my space, we're going to send you 10 minutes of cool air to your zone on demand. Um, and, and then that's it, right? So we send you 10 minutes of cool air. You, the occupant gets the response that they want. Um, they, you know, have that feeling of having been responded to. Um, and then rather than, you know, when a typical thermostat toggle switch thing, if it's even working at all, if it's not a dummy thermostat, um, we, that's it. You get that 10 minutes of air. We haven't changed the set point, right? But then we take all of those inputs, which we also, you know, we know the time of day, we know where they are, we know uh, the day of the week, we know the outside temperature, the indoor temperature, because it's connected to BMS. And we learn to optimize set points for all of the zones using that information. So what we're doing is we're gradually widening all the dead bands to allow for less conditioning uh, where we're not receiving any inputs. And so eventually what that means is that we can sort of optimize zone level control specifically for what's needed for every zone in the building. It's sort of, generally speaking, we work with VAEs. That's, that's pretty typical. Um, a lot of what we do is about user experience. It's about having a system that people like, that they, they you know, want to know about. We don't display temperature, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I just mentioned this. You know, I think that there's always, it's interesting. When a building owner comes up and talks to us, they're like, well, what does a facilities guy think? And then when a facilities folks come up, they say, oh, what does a building owner think? And it actually works out really well, right? Because there's, there's you know, tenants like it because they're a lot more comfortable. We basically, Comfy is primarily uh, geared towards uh, selling to tenants and people who want delightful space, um, you know, for whatever reason. But it also reduces hot and cold calls, which is a huge pain point for a lot of facility management. They don't really want to deal with it. So we, we've seen pretty much all of our hot and cold calls to go down to zero since we started in all of our pilot buildings. Um, there's a lot more coming soon with that. Uh, this is some of our early results, but I think I'm probably running out of time here. So just to say, uh, you know, when you let people have control over their temperature, sure, energy would go up. But if you are actually encouraging all of the zones through machine learning to use less conditioning and then asking the people to kind of, you know, tune it back to where they want it, you can save a huge amount of energy. So that's, that's where a lot of the savings comes from. And then, you know, there's more where this comes from, but in terms of what the engagement is so far, we see it's very persistent. People use it all the time. We've got very high usage. We get hugs. 
we get, you know, high fives. We get people sending us emails to tell us that they were never happy at their workspace until now. Uh, so it's it's been so far kind of a it's been a really wonderful experience, and we're looking forward to the opportunity to get it more out there in the world. And um, you know, it's, it's at the very beginning of this. There'll be a lot more data where this came from, and we're looking forward to talking to you all more about this.